Hey guys, Winter 24 here. I am just coming on quickly, as I always say. Okay, so this is like the preview to my video, which I'm going to do um, to my going to get my protective style in. I went to get some more hair because I, I'm going to do um, rope twists slash Senegalese twist, whatever you want to call them. Call them rope twists in Jamaica. So I only had, from the last set that I did, I had a pack and a little bit of um, the braid that I use. And again, it's expression. Expression. So um, I needed another pack because, um, yeah, because she said, when I made the appointment, she said um, I should get another pack. So she was suggesting, so that's a number four, which is typically my standard color. I really don't stray very much from that. Um, sometimes I mix it with something else, but rarely I do that, especially like now in the fall. So anyway, and by the way, my hair is up in a banana clip. So earlier on today, it was like low, and now it's high. This is the look. I really like it. It's cute. Okay, guys, you got to be careful with banana clips, though, and good people, because they tend to, you got to watch that your hair doesn't catch in that class, because it can do some damage if you ain't careful. All right, so, what was I saying? Yeah, so I went to get some more hair. So, she was suggesting, I don't think she really knows me, because suggesting that I get like a 27 or something to make to y'all people I'm you know I have nothing against blonde hair on black people really whatever floats your boat y'all but that's that's just not my thing okay um but okay I just wanted to make something else with it but what I got is pretty much like so similar that it's just not funny I don't even think it's gonna be visible so I got a pack of number two 33. I don't know where I'm going to put it, if it's in the back or the front, but it's not too much different from this. It's just like an auburn color, which is fine. I probably would switch it up and put this in the front for a change and probably do that at the back. So, again guys, for those who've just joined my channel, this is the hair that I use to do my, my twist. It's called Expressions. Um, you can read expression. You can find it at um, West African Beauty Supply Stores. Typically, it's $6.99 a pack. That's what I paid for it. I've paid less when they've been on sale. But today, I paid um, $6.99 plus taxes. Uh, it is Kinecolon hair. And it's 82 inches in length. Hey guys, it's Mr. 24. I am coming to you to show you my new protective style, rope twist, okay? I just came in. Um, my appointment was for 11 o'clock, um, and I was late, about half an hour-ish, because I forgot my snacks at home, and I had to get snacks, people, because one thing, if you go get your hair braided, bring your snacks, because you don't know how long the business is going to last for. So, <clears throat> I went and got some snacks and then I got there. It was okay. Um, you know, it wasn't a problem at any rate. So, anyway, so as shown prior, I used um, the number 4 and the 33. Now, I've got my hair, this is probably the finest I've gotten it done, the smallest. And, I really like it because I can see where I can do a lot with this, okay, instead of it being too big and bulky. Alright, let me give you the little 360 before I start <coughs> talking about the do, okay, y'all? So, this is it. I told her to give me brass strap length, and I think it's, yeah. I think it is. It is brass strap. I thought it was a bit longer. Um, I like how she layered the hair because I hate when I get braids done and they're too bulky. The last time I got rope twists, if you guys went on my Facebook um, and saw the picture with my husband and I um, in this orange sweater, 
I love those rope twists but they were too heavy she didn't know how to kind of um, layer the hair so it didn't come out I really like the finish of this the ends were dipped and I love them so I used 33 number 33 and 4 I used the 4 in the back I used up all of that and this is what remains of the 30 oh actually there's quite a bit, a bit more of the four, because I have four, a pack, and a little bit of the four left, so this is the 33 that's left, and that's the four. Okay, guys, one time I did my braids, and I always do number four, only to be told by this young girl who was telling, who was doing my hair that, okay, number four is like an old woman's color, and here I am, because I'm very conservative when it comes down to those things if it was for me coloring my own hair I've done everything but for braids I usually stick with number four is that in fact true I don't know anyway <clears throat> so I had the four but I like the 33 because it's a much richer color it's really nice and it's almost the color of my henna so yes yeah, so it was a very pleasant experience we chatted we you know it was very easy and um you know uh and I was very pleased with the outcome of my hair. Now I'm going to zoom in because I told her I wanted, because at first I intended to do, <coughs> I love this tripod people, it's so obedient, okay. Um, <coughs> sorry, I, I just ate and because I was hungry and I just came in. So yeah, what was I saying? So I wanted, I was thinking maybe I should... Um, do cornrows a bit in the front because I don't like when the hair is in my face and then I said you know what let's just do a little bit and she says no she knows what I want because <clears throat> you know when braids are getting stale they tend to get floppy and they're in your face and all of that stuff so what she did I don't know if you can see it, the top really looks like tree braids sort of but it's not it's just that she did some invisible cornrows like about an inch or less and then she continued and braided the hair and I really like the finish of that um, so when it's time for me to pull my hair up and do stuff with it um, it will look nice and flat because for me I don't know about you guys but when braids are getting stale the first the front part is the first to go so I highly recommend this girl she's re this lady she's really really good very professional um it's done at home she has kids but it's it wasn't up to a point where i felt you know that it was intervening never i didn't feel that way so she's actually in brampton so you guys and she is looking for clients so uh definitely um if you need your hair done go to her I highly recommend her her the hair is so even and neat and you know what I have a visual after many years of doing braids I know exactly what I want in my braids and this is it like I really love it it's not tight I feel good about it and I'm very happy that um, I went to her again and I think she, I don't think I know this is going to be my braider for life, okay? Because I am so satisfied with how she did my hair. Like, I really like it. And the thing is, my hair, I have a hereditary receding part here. Like, hair never goes here. It's just like baby hair. And some people will, all, will be trying to, like, get these baby hairs. I'm like, no, you don't have to get them, okay? Because if you get these hairs, these are just going to pull out because they're so fine and she knows exactly how to part my hair to let it kind of disguise it and it's cool so again the girls in Toronto please um, go to her she is so good I really love her and I really like the fact that anything that I've explained to her that I want she's able to interpret it exactly the way that I want it so yes guys that's it for now um, I gotta do some more people. I have a paper to write and I need to get on that right now. So, um, yeah. Take care all. I'll just upload this and, <coughs> um, I'll come to you 
in the week I have a haul to do for you guys so since we're not going to be talking about hair I already missed my hair y'all I already missed my hair but I'm not taking these out until like it's going to be in for at least two months okay this can stay for two months because of the length that I did them it's safe to say I can get two months worth of um I can get this I can take this into the new year okay or probably do it over for the new year so yeah that's it for now guys um rambling so I gotta go okay guys take care hey guys another thing is that I forgot to mention I'll post all the pictures on the on my Facebook page okay so if you guys want a closer look into the interior of this just go to my Facebook page, Splinter24, capital S, and you'll get um, some great shots. Now, um, I just want to thank everybody who has come over. It's so great to see my subscribers that put faces to the names, especially those who don't have, um, who don't do videos. And really, I it's just fantastic. I've posted a couple of things on there. <clears throat> bear with me because I'm kind of busy right now but I think I've done okay with posting some stuff so you know comment feedback the girls who have posted pictures fantastic um, Tracy uh, I don't remember the numbers behind her name and El Presi they both posted pictures of their hair and I love it so I really want to get everybody involved um, and this is your chance to kind of show me what you got, like what you're working with and so on. Okay, guys. So thank you all very much and I'll see you over there on Facebook. Okay, bye.